I choose a teal color for this match, as you can see. And one thing about the colors that I've uh, kind of noticed is that um, I don't really see the colors actually. I kind of focused on my units, enemy units, more than I've. Uh, would focus on uh, the color itself. So, there's always enough money for the pylon, so I'm starting with the pylon. I'm going to build a nexus soon, which is probably now, because um, I can see that um, I um, have quite a lot of cash there. And here we go. The thing about the Protoss, what I've uh, noticed is that um, they don't have money at all. Like this is the poorest, most uh, kind of disadvantaged race that I've currently encountered. You see what I'm talking about. I'll explain it. So the Terran has super cheap units. So Marine Marauder Medivac, that's it. You may you may argue, but this is what I've noticed to be while being an intermediate player. Uh, the Zerg, like he can he can build he can build links. He has many kind of um, choices. While uh, I kind of believe that um, the Protoss is super disadvantaged. <clears throat> the, the cheapest unit that they can have is like um, maybe a hundred, which is Which is that um, zealot, and um, and the super tough units <clears throat> such as like immortals would cost you two hundred fifty, which is actually massive. I'm going to go with three upgrade facilities. I'm not sure if that's the best approach. I don't think it's the best approach. But um, currently I don't think that I would make a mistake by uh, doing just that. As you can see the town player is not really it's not really doing anything just I'm watching me there so uh, we can start with the first um, upgrades almost instantly and uh, more violence so I haven't choose my approach but um, I can suspect that they actually want to build I um, Let's see um, an army of um, yeah. I'll go cheap. I'll I'll go with an army of stalkers. That isn't uh, that isn't uh, much, but. Um, I'm sure it's gonna be fine. For that I need a lot of gateways. So another disadvantage that I've noticed is that Protoss would otherwise require a extreme number of these gateways. I know that there is some way to select the gateways. I'm just kind of unaware 
how exactly I should do that. As you see, I'm not building any and troops. That's how kind of confident I feel um, that the AI just won't attack me straight away. And guess what? I haven't built myself a cybernetic squad. Well, that is that is bad. That is truly bad. But I guess that um, there was nothing I could do. I lost my train of thought. And that's it. So, um, obviously, just a couple of buildings. And then we just need to build a um, lot of workers for um, these three facilities and that's it I really like overlords for the Zerg because I don't have to build all these buildings like I'm doing right now but there's a catch and um, I kind of think that um, so let's let's go with the stalkers and guess what <laughs> we're out of money so fast now I definitely need a Twilight Council without it I'm unable to to build stuff I know that there is a way to select all the warp gates or there should be a way to do that, but um, I don't know how to do that. I wonder where is my uh, mothership? Oh, here it is. I need it right there so that I could photon overcharge something when I have to do it. Now, um, my upgrades, they need to be continuously produced as you can see three three um, Nexuses are doing just awesome job but um, I have to expand I'm not sure from uh, which side I'm gonna get that back Okay, but um, oh wow, but I hope it won't happen just now. So I can, I forgot that I can uh, increase my uh, ability to. Um, Okay, well guess what, we are being attacked and so we are fighting them as you can see. I already lost my mothership which is bad, I couldn't do any other photonova charges and obviously I need to build the stalkers. But um... I wasn't building them. So things are going just fine. Whoa, 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 whoa. We need we need to We need to wait for these tanks to kind of finish. Now before I go any further I want to check um, the hotkeys and um, where is it? Standard, classic, my 
Okay, turns are global, right? Then where would we go? Unit management. Warp in. Okay, so I can just warp in with that. So that's how I select them probably. I'm not even sure where do I allow stalkers to teleport, allow zealots to intercept nearby enemies. Okay, okay, so we 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 go out now and we are going to see how things are gonna work out. So I select three and we build stalkers with zealots. Oh no. Oh no, I haven't um, placed any attack orders or anything like that, so uh, I'm uh, sure that I'll probably be wiped out here. If. Um, oh well, look at that. All these guys. These tanks are just um, going to obliterate me there. Come on, zealots. You can do it. I'm sure you can do it. And um, so, guess what? Um, I am being. being. being wiped out here. They need to they need to issue more attack orders. You see interestingly they cannot really target the medibacks. Would you look at that? I waited for too long and I got myself an admiral who's who's going to fight me. And um, so yeah, uh, yeah, nothing 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 is going to save me now. But um, it was a good game, so as you can see, very, very expensive, very, very useless this time. Uh, the Protoss was for me in this game. Soon they're going to wipe out the rest of my units. And so the probes will launch a counter attack, and nothing left. Nothing left to defend. I'll just have to play again with another race. This time I'm going to choose Zerg and. Uh, we're gonna play once again. I play all the races just so that I could um, like um, learn how to play them all, enjoy them all. Obviously, they play super different, but I'm starting to get a hang of things like um, like um, for example. Terran is going to be Marine, Medivac, um, kind of thing. And um, and um, If there's anything else, we will probably have to build some mines, some uh, tanks, and uh, that's it. In the late game, you're probably going to be wiped out if you play <laughs> Terran. I'm not sure. I've seen some some games when they play late game Terran and uh, most of the time nothing really happens and um, because they're you know they, they just go some mech units but but really there is 
nothing out there. Not that I've noticed so far. I'm sure I'm sure the players that know how to play that game uh, they know what to do, but um, I haven't noticed anything in particular. With the Protoss, <clears throat> it's huge, like they're super, super bankrupt. But when 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 they get like three, three economy, they will uh, turn to be super strong. They go immortals. They go. Um, And they go um, all kinds of a uh, carriers, and so um, they have the advantage. Then I don't think that it would be even possible to defeat the Protoss. If they have like a um, limited amount of money, and uh, the Zerg, they are very, very, very unique, but they're super hard to play. I think uh, that um, it's it would be super easy to just go mad playing the Zerg, or on the other hand you could actually enjoy playing in a sense of you always have something to do so when i say mad i'm where did you want why did you went there i mean that um like you always have to inject you always have to spread creep you always have to do something while um other races don't really have to do that much and um, why um, why now I'm going to I'm gonna go for some roaches into Roach Warren. What else do we have there? I'm not even sure. There's a Baneling Nest, which is, I'm sure, extremely important building. Do. And um, that's kind of it. So, um, everybody should just kind of go there. Oh, where's my queen? I'm not even sure how do I accidentally kind of um, make the order for the queen to leave. Now, brooches. He need a lair. Upgrade. And I'm going to build a few of these brooches. But um, only after I build some more workers, because I need <clears throat> the workers to in do to kind of do the job, right? Now I have to fill these up. Okay, so there's a lot of a lot of. Uh, Pressing a lot of a uh, lot of work in order to play the Zerg properly. Like by saying properly, I mean to actually use everything, everything there is. Okay. So I have to have to have to continuously inject, otherwise I'll just kind of run out of larva 
and uh, that will be the end of uh, my uh, thing and that's it so I'm, uh, I'm, uh, I'm building roaches now for uh, most of the cash and I'm building overlords so it looks like I almost have enough enough uh, enough troops but um, I just need I just need the, the larva okay now you need to continue producing me roaches so that I would have a chance to defend against uh, the enemy and we shall continue going with a hydralist and uh, from here well from here we should be able to okay to do some damage I would like to start the attack on them actually I have so much money it's crazy you see but if I would have been protest I probably would have been screwed already without money that is what I want to say looks like I needed to stack some larva look at all that um, and guess what where, where, where do players keep all those overlords they look they look so vulnerable to me there and uh, that's it I'm attacking I'm attacking or I'm just checking so for as long as I won't get attacked in the back things shouldn't go sour and I'm building more roaches Okay, I'm doing the injects. It's, it's just it's just a hard work actually. And I'm building myself a bunch of overlords. Look at that. We are uh, engaging them. Okay, look at that. They are they are stuck. They can only because of this field they were only able to um, Okay, now now I'm at kind of a disadvantage here. Yeah? I'm gonna take this out, and now I can attack with uh, my uh, full mind myself. And guess what? I need to build myself more roaches. And besides even that, I need more larva. Okay. It looks like all of them died, right? So we are going to retreat now, for now at least. Okay. Can we just move while borrow? That's fine. And we're gonna go with the Hydralisk. Obviously, now the the problem with the Protoss, right? No, I mean the Zerg, not the Protoss, is that I have the money, so, um, but I do not have the Larva to compete. So, um, that puts me at a very, very weak condition. And um, that's very bad. Now, what about these upgrades? I need a hive. For the hive, I need an infestation pit. And I totally, obviously, forgot that I actually need something like that. Now I can't upgrade, which is super, super annoying, to say the least. And uh, again, injects like it's water to say, like. Like you could, you could um, easily 
easily mix injects with like drinking water because that's just how important they are and I'm sure that right now we need to move out okay and that's it we are moving out with Roach Hydralisk approach the infestation pit has been finished we need a hive, hive is underway we encountered them here and so we are fighting I'm not sure